Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atala Pinkin. In today's video, I'm going to talk about that this week looks like it's going to be all about the Bitcoin futures ETF approval, which is looks like approved by the SEC. Today will be probably official. And then we're going to have another one maybe this week. So we will see and others coming up uh, till the end of the month. Then the second thing I would like to talk about is the Bitcoin price. That where are we right now? Uh, what happened with the weekly candle? What we have just closed and what can uh, this cause and so on and so forth. And also third news is that a Brazilian toddler <laughs> makes over 6,500 profit on her first Bitcoin holding. And how is that possible? Guys, all this in today's video. And for those of you who would like to be up to date, I have great news. The only thing you have to do, you should just subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, because I'm bringing you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news every weekday with that keeping you up to date, which is crucial. Also, I made you a free course, how to start to invest in Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies. The link is under this video. I have very, use, very uh, useful links for you. Uh, check out also the links under the video. For instance, Binance link, a Coinbase link. And with all these links, you can save money. And I think this is a great deal. And uh, now it's time to look at the market. Because we can see, which is great, that Bitcoin is still above 60,000. It is actually above 62,000 at the moment. It is a 2.5% increase. Ethereum stays uh, 3,847, not bad at all. When we're looking at the top gainers, then we see Stacks 22% up, Shiba this time 8% up, and Zcash uh, 8%. When we're looking at the losers, <coughs> we see DYDX going down 6%, Heather Hashgraph 4%, uh, Tezos 4.5%, uh, um, so kind of the same than, than Hedera, which means no big losers at all and real quick just look at this one this one is very important what just happened because we closed the highest weekly candle ever look at this guys even here in april and may we did have um a week going up but the, uh, the candle, the weekly candle, is now the highest. And this, I think, very important. Uh, I'm going to talk about in more details in the second news when I'm discussing the, the, uh, the Bitcoin price. So stay tuned. However, when we look real quick, the fear and greed index, where are we right now? We are at 78, which is, I think, it's good and nothing special. Look at this here. Um, this is here, uh, goes back to the beginning of, oh, it goes back to for a year. So what was happened like uh, last year? And look here, the fear and greed in last December and all these things were pretty, pretty high. <coughs> Compared to that, where are we right now? I think we are totally okay. The market is not overwhelmed. The, you know, retail FOMO is not here, but we are extremely close about three something percent to the all time high. So this is looking pretty good. And now guys, let's talk about the first news. And the first news must be about the Bitcoin futures, ET, futures ETF, which going to be approved, uh, I mean, uh, announced the, the approvement uh, today, but the SEC uh, said probably they weren't already going to approve it. So let's talk about it. And yes, on Friday, the news came out that the SEC is going to approve a Bitcoin futures ETF, which is exactly here. This one, the pro shares one, is set to launch trading of Bitcoin futures ETFs next week. This is the article here from yesterday, which means today. And, uh, you know, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Greenlighted Bitcoin futures ETFs in uh, 
first for the industry on Friday after regulators five commissioners met on the issue. ProShares, which filled for its Bitcoin strategy ETF this uh, past summer, may be the first launched next week, which means this week again. And guys, this is key in my opinion. You know, it is likely that the SEC will not uh, only allow futures ETFs to launch this year. However, Gensler's <coughs> common supporting a futures ETF hint that he will not allow spot market ETF to launch in the near term. And this is the sad news. Because, let's be honest, this is not the big catalyst for Bitcoin. We do need a spot ETF, not a futures ETF. However, this will open up doors because what is very, very important that, think about it, if the SEC is going to say that Bitcoin ETF is legal, you can do it. So an ETF which is connected to the Bitcoin price and it's tradable on the stock market, it's green light kind of for Bitcoin in the United States. And this is, I think, definitely a very, very important thing. And this is definitely a catalyst for the Bitcoin price. However, I have to highlight that the real one would be the spot one. On the other hand, the New York Stock Exchange field for Bitwise Bitcoin ETF, it would hold actually Bitcoin, not futures one. So this one could be one of the real ones. So there are already a separate Bitcoin futures based Bitwise ETF feeling, but actual Bitcoin is better as it is indeed. Why? The reason is very simple. Because then actually those guys not just like having a paper, a price which is, you know, connected to the Bitcoin price, but there will be a real Bitcoin behind it. So whoever comes up with that ETF and has that has to buy uh, ET, uh, what's that, Bitcoin. Uh, behind and what that that's definitely that more money it's uh, coming into crypto into bitcoin another one grayscale bitcoin spot etf could be right around the corner so here we go we could have the first spot bitcoin etf on the market near the end of this year as grayscale intended to feel as sec approval for its product by early next week so now ish According on CNBC, Grayscale intention is to convert their Bitcoin fund, GBDC, into a spot Bitcoin ETF. So they have already bought a lot of real Bitcoin. And this would be, again, a spot one. So very, very uh, important. And, and here it, it talks about in more details that the spot ETF product attracts Bitcoin price closer than the futures ETF. The spot price of Bitcoin is the current USD cost immediate purchase and delivery. Being physically physically settled with instant delivery, a spot product would be able to more closely track the price of Bitcoin and reduce uncertainty that comes with an ETF tracking a project futures uh, future price. So again, this article also highlights why and how is the spot one different from the uh, futures. And uh, another important fact, if you point out this one here, that, you know, when the very first gold ETF was listed on the New York Stock Exchange, look what happened to the gold price. This was back in 2004. At that time, the gold's market cap was one trillion US dollar. Now, fast forward 16, 17 years, we have now uh, gold at 11 trillion US dollar. And uh, guess what? Bitcoin ETF about to launch this week, probably. Where is the Bitcoin market cap? At 1 trillion. Do we need another 16 years to become 11 trillion with the present inflation and everything that's going on? I don't think so. So, Look how big a catalyst it was for gold. And then you can calculate what it will be for Bitcoin. Very, very interesting. Keep an eye on it, okay? So I think this is the only thing what I'm saying. Okay, the next thing I would like to talk about is uh, that weekly 
high what we have just reached and that is i think also a very important level so yes as i have showed you just before and let's bring that screen up again that look here we have this weekly candle this one here this candle which was closed and the highest level ever when we're looking at the weekly and we have a great chance we can have the highest uh, monthly close actually this month we'll see how it will work out but look this one even we had this in april we had this uh, wick going up all the way to 65000 ish 64000 something like that depends which exchange you're looking at but the candle itself closed under it and now we have this one and this is actually crucial because then we have now a new record and uh, yes here we have now the new one which has just started i do think we're looking at so this is the weekly we're looking at the the daily and look by the way if i put this here on the line check this out right now we about four percent from bitcoin all-time high price so here is the the line you know i put here so almost five percent between four and five and we were just like three something before, a couple of minutes ago um to the all-time high this is basically nothing and if you just think back how it was back in uh december uh you know what was it december 20000 here so to reach that 20000 we we and, and cross it really we were like kind of here look 19 19 19000 something suffering for a while and then we broke it through so it can happen now again this is this is okay that bitcoin price can go here a little bit sideways yeah why not and also can go a bit down i wouldn't mind to retest these levels 52 for instance because then it can break out and this would look actually very healthy to me also just looking at the rsi we are at the rsi at the moment um somewhere here above 50 uh, sorry about 70 and whenever the rsi is above 70 it means it's uh, bitcoin it's uh, overbought so it can actually come down this is another sign but we do know that as rsi levels are staying extremely high when the fomo kicks in then you know <laughs> basically then you, you, you it goes much much higher so we'll see how the whole market will react with this whole etf which is don't forget a future ctf not a spot etf this is actually a huge difference but uh, so far so good look we back here this is very important guys we back here so we're not somewhere down here not somewhere down here not going continuously down we had this breakdown here a breakout and since that we coming back uh, recovering <coughs> just like we have recovered back in 2013 or even we after uh, a couple of uh, for instance the bearish september in september another recovery in 2017 very much the same things are happening when you're looking at the bitcoin um dominance here you can see it it's 46.9 so almost 47 if you're looking at the pattern it's continuously uh increasing so yeah similar things which just happened back in 13 and also in in, in 2017 so uh, keep an eye on it but we still could have it looks promising now a nice lost quarter okay and the last news which is an interesting one it's all about that a brazilian toddler made a lot of money more money than many traders with her first bitcoin holding and how is that possible okay so the news is all about brazilian toddler making 6500 percent profit on her first bitcoin holding 
Well, obviously, it wasn't the baby who bought it, it was the father. And the father's gift was one Bitcoin at that time, a bit less than $1,000 was one Bitcoin, to his newborn daughter back in 2017 is now worth more than 60,000. As you know, 62,000 something ish was right now. So a four year old girl has reportedly earned over 6,500 profit on a one Bitcoin gift uh, she received on the day of her birth. And um, guess what? I mean, like seriously, the only reason <laughs> why she's staying so rich at the moment holding this Bitcoin and you know it will go probably much higher over the years she's she's four years old that she is a baby she couldn't really sell so she keeps it having diamond hands of course because she cannot how to I mean the father could uh, sell it for her but that wasn't the whole point of buying therefore they are just keeping it $1,000, let's risk it, but uh, then it could be much more. And it looks like it was a wise decision uh, so far. And it shows, it highlights a key element. If you buy and hold Bitcoin, there could be times if you buy, bought it too high on that trend, then it can go lower. But year after year, as Bitcoin is increasing the price of Bitcoin, it's getting more and more. And probably, look, whenever you bought on the top back in 2017 for 20,000 US dollar, you were, you know, not that happy, put it this way, for a couple of years. But if you waited three years until 2020 December, then you were even. A month later in January or something, you doubled. And even when you're looking at the price now, or back in April, you tripled. The key was the whole Bitcoin, not financial advice, just, you know, to get the idea. But crazy what kids are doing now. Here's just a month you know, ago, was like when a 12-year-old uh, boy from London reportedly made nearly 400,000 during the school holidays. What a, what a holiday work by selling a series non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which are really hot at the moment, definitely. So yeah, even children can do this. <laughs> no, okay, they do need some help. But uh, by the way, the 12-year-old boy did it uh, on his own, but like for the toddler it was a bit different the situation. But I think you got the message what holding can bring to you. Guys, that's it for today. Of course, coming back tomorrow with the freshest. Stay tuned. You know, like this video if you like this kind of content and also subscribe to this YouTube channel Blockchain Bloom because I would like to keep you up to date and this is crucial in the market what we're experiencing right now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.